I've been playing for about, I guess about a dozen years now, maybe a little less. And I'm happy with my voice, how it sounds and the expression, but I always kind of look askance at my guitar playing. But, uh, you know, you hear recordings that uh, were done obviously out of tune and uh, someone uh, at the one of the first, uh, I think it was raise funds for Ethiopia, rock artists raise funds for Ethiopia. And Neil Young was there and among many other people. And after a couple of songs, someone came over to Neil Young and said, you're singing out of tune there. And he said, that's the way I sing, man. <laughs> so, and there's also Ani DiFranco, who I didn't really know, but I, when I first arrived in uh, Victoria in 89, I listened to a lot of um, uh, alternative music from CFUV. That was a local uh, uh, university radio station, University of UVic radio station in Victoria. So, and I used to win a lot of free tickets there. Got to see Maxi Priest. Yeah, I knew I was in for a good show when he when I walked in and for a relatively small theater, maybe eight hundred people, very steep. And they had like 15 feet high of big speaker boxes. So he was sort of a rock slash reggae guy. It was really good. So um, uh, why am I thinking of all of that? Um, oh, Honey DeFranco is someone who, at least when I saw her in about 1993, because I had won tickets, even though I didn't know who she was, I won tickets. And I was poor enough then that I would occasionally sell them or sell the CD that I got with the ticket. One guy commented to me kind of bitchily, he says, you got a little cottage industry there, <laughs> winning tickets. And one of my girlfriends, uh, when I went to see Maxi Priest and I got to the place where you're supposed to hand a ticket and they had arranged, you know, I won the contest, whatever it was. And they said, well, you'll, you'll get a comp. Your name will be on a comp list once you get to the theater. <clears throat> so I got to the theater and they were having none of it. They said I couldn't come in and I was having none of it also. And my girlfriend, who was a blind date, basically, I'd met her just briefly at a party and remembered her and a couple months later, tracked her down. But in any case, she was saying, no, nah, leave it, leave it. We'll just do it without. And I said, nope, nope, we're going to do it. So it was a great show. It was so stupid. They, I was dancing in the aisles, so to speak. And they came along and said, oh, it's a fire hazard if you're dancing in the aisles. I said, well, I already got a head start. I'm in shape, I'm warmed up, and I'm already in the aisle, so. So, uh, but this is Madame George. This is gonna be too long. Madame George, kind of a dreamy, lots of, uh, he's from Ireland, what can you say? Van Morrison. Down on Cypress Avenue. With a childlike vision, oh, leaping into view. The quick and quiet and all the high heel shoe. Born in Fitzroy, Madame George. Marching with the soldier boy behind. Yeah.
music so you can read it. Got a reflection there. And from the street outside the frosty window works, and she jumps up and says, Lord, mercy, I think it's the cops. And immediately drops everything she got.